mean, that probably was a job for the shotgun. I didn't even use a med pack. So, thank you, Brandon. Thank you. Watch this fucking jump. Let's get into it. That's a whole alert beginning. Thank you so much. Wow, everybody. Um, fucking wow. Torture myself? I think I will. By buying a bunch of fucking great games. So, um, we have a little bit of a theme going on. I'm sure you guys are aware of this. Um, if you're not aware of the theme, it involves a certain character. He has ears. He's a mouse. And he's made by Walter Disney. I'm talking Disney games for PS1. There's no fucking better time than getting a Disney game and being a PS1 fan than right now. So, to continue the list, at number 934 on the game counter, we have Disney's Goofy's Fun House for the PS1. Oh, it looks like a blast, fellas. This was shipped to me by a man named Charles Day. You might know him as Charlie Day. He's uh he's got a little role coming up. He, he's gonna be the voice of Luigi, um, alongside of Christopher Protonus. Wow, you had this game? Oh my god! It includes six classic Goofy cartoons, which we will watch in its entirety. We will have a movie night on the stream. Um, so this is a great 3D game. Play. This is what it says. <laughs> great 3D gameplay and classic cartoons. Goofy's prized pho 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 photographs are missing some items. Can you help him find them? It's a goofy good time as you search all throughout the house and yard trying to find such items as fishing rods, boxing gloves, skiz, and more. Once you locate them, return them to the photos hanging on the wall and be treated to a real surprise by Goofy. Tons to do. Fish in the lake, play around at golf, skit a slalom course, race your car through town, and lots more. But yeah, nothing, nothing screams a damn good time with Goofy. <laughs> like racing your car through town. 25 mile an hour speed limit? Not my fucking house. I'm Goofy. I got places to be and fishes to catch. Uh, 15 environments to explore, 5 challenging mini games, and 6 classic Goofy cartoons. Disney's Goofy's Funhouse, a future palate cleansing son of a bitch, great game. Disney, can't believe you played it, Jesse. And you say it's fun, and I fucking believe every word of you because how could it not be? You're fishing with Goofy, you're golfing with Goofy, you're breaking the law, driving in the city like a little fucking crazy boy with Goofy. Ah, buddy, sign me up. So Goofy's Funhouse comes in at 9:34. So, uh, I will go, I do have another PS1 game, but I'll save it for last as it is the heavy item of the evening. I'm goofing with Goofy. Baby, I love goofing with Goofy. That guy's crazy. You see his ears? He's like, <laughs> we got some crazy Goofy. I don't know how he talks, but I can at least do the, <laughs> you know, but regardless, PlayStation 2 released in 2001, I think, maybe not, maybe 2003, PlayStation 2 came out on the on the scene in 2001 is what i'm saying continuously a little game company by the name of rockstar that was amazing you are you're a nice guy thank you it was not amazing it made me so, i like very much made me self-conscious to not talk anymore <laughs> um but this is a bb cust recommends an important game has been delivered finally at the price that a dealsman likes at a game that BB Cust enjoys. A BB Cust recommended game, ladies and gentlemen, one of the first on the stream, but not the first nor the last. Let's give it up for PS2, a greatest hits edition, unfortunately, but coming complete with manual and map is Bully for the PS2, a BB Cust recommended game. So you play as a young James, which... <laughs> a young Jimmy. A young Jimmy, a.k.a. another moderator on the stream. You play as a young James at Bullworth Academy. And wow, he takes, you know, we're gonna... Rockstar takes the game formula, spins it on its head. 
great <laughs> it's a greatest hits but you know what it's more like greatest tits because i'm playing nude raider and this came complete with manual and map you know it's c you know it's i and you know it's motherfucking b let's go take a look at this map here uh that's the manual let's go ahead and take a look at this here map slash poster oh boys it's folded nicely oh it's nice hanging this up on the wall Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, you got the map on the other side. Looks like a goddamn GTA game. I imagine <laughs> uh, the bridges that would separate the different areas are going to be like creeks. <laughs> Regardless, I will be playing this on the stream eventually. I do have to play it. Um, a BB Cust recommended game. You know, you cannot let those go by the wayside. It's a yeah, Rockstar games and maps, dude. If you don't get a map with your game, are you really playing a Rockstar game? Um, so yeah, Bully, I will be playing it on the stream. I do want to play it. I think it'll be fun. Um, we'll see what happens after Tomb Raider. It's gonna be number one on the list. So keeping with PS2 games, um, I haven't bought from this group in a long time, but the retro gaming group finally gave me something to squeeze my little nutsack to. And that's called Good Deals on Great Games. So starting it off, um, going rate right for this. So I think that was, hold on. I think that's 935 was Bully. Let me see. Yeah. So we're at 935 games. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. And God bless you. Because we're going into a M-rated game. Um, featuring the hit song After Me by Saliva comes The Thing for PS2. Got it for a sweet deal, 20 bucks, free shipping, no tax, because it's, you know, uh, on the down low. So, you know, it's C and, I, and it's I and it's B. You don't fuck around. I think it's even a blue disc game. Let's give it up for the old blue disc. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? it's a blue disc, baby. Um, so The Thing, I did watch the movie at one point. I looked up the game. The game is actually well received. Um, it looks good. It plays good. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a big yaha -huh in the chat for me, to be honest, boys. It's a big yaha. -huh. So the thing, PS2, 20 bucks. Can't fucking beat it. Um, welcome to the show, 936. So, wait. Yes, 936 is the thing. So coming in at the same deal. Um, so this game was marked. It was, uh, I think he was offering $30 for it. And then the thing was like $28. So I said, like, throw in the thing for $20 and I'll buy this at $30. And that is Tenchu Fatal Shadows. A big Tenchu fan. I haven't played the games in a long ass time. I do remember this coming out, but it has, um, it starts two females. And I, I was a very, um, male dominated video game protagonist growing up so i never got this one um it's actually made with by sega one of the greatest companies to ever exist um i have uh finally shed myself of my um pathetic ways and i can see a game for when it's good and this is good so it's actually made not only by sega but it's made from software and by from software i mean it's by the company from software so that can't focus in but you know what it looks like you know what it says so they're the guys that made demon souls dark souls and shit souls and fuck souls and blood souls and big souls and bad souls so does that have any resemblance in this gameplay no not at all um this is not a blue disc so fatal shadows came out after uh came out after wrath of heaven which is a very prominent ps2 game in my life um so i always thought about getting this game but i kind of fell out of tenchu games by then um it plays exactly the same which is cool uh i played it on easy mode and i could not fucking stealth kill anybody so i gotta hone in my skills and remember that everything is a little bit harder to see in ps2 world so you gotta use your wits and that's something i have lost with the uh, future of gaming so at 9 37 we got tenchu fatal shadows welcoming to the club the group in the club i almost said crub <laughs> so um new game released last friday as well 
This is out on the Switch. Um, I've already started playing it, and I gotta tell you, I had my fucking doubts, but it is absolutely good. It is a fun game. I am enjoying it. I know that there are shortcomings with it, but it's a great leap in the series, and that is um, Pokemon Legends. And this can be said either way. I've heard Arceus, and I heard Arceus. Um, Arceus is kind of being said by British people, to be honest, because I, I heard one guy from the UK say it. So I don't know what to call it. I'm going to call it Arceus. Uh, but that's up for debate in the chat. But Pokemon Legends are Arceus. I almost said Arceus. Um, very good game. Having a lot of fun with it. I did fall asleep with it the first time I played it, which is per the normal. Um, anytime you can play a video game anymore in this world, you are falling asleep. And if you're not, then God bless you. You're doing better than me. So uh, this is a blue disc. I read that even though like you had said that a while back. Um, it's a blue disc game, but no, we don't have any manual. No manual, no problem. Uh, unfortunately, this is what's called CIB in 2022, so you know there's fucking problems. But at 938, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, the final hitter, a Psygnosis game, which is a PS1 developer. They made Rascal, and they made a bunch of like weird rail shooters. Or, or not rail shooters, but like shoot 'em ups um, This one was expensive so it is the heavy hitter of the evening uh i want to play this one as well um I, i'm very much lord to games that say it's short any game it's like yeah it takes like four hours to beat it i'm like perfect three streams and i'm done with it and i beat it and everybody loves me um so very cute looking game and it's a very wildly weird uh controlling game so kingly's adventure for ps1 um, you may think, wow, that looks like a dog shit in hell game. Probably five bucks. No, it's expensive because it's like, uh, it's just like it had, it probably didn't have a large, um, like a large release. It was in 99. So take with that what you want. But Kingley's, Ad Kingley's adventure, Kingsley's adventure, very cute. Um, it looks like, or people compare it to like Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Really, with how the gameplay is, it's pretty much an action RPG, but without the leveling up or anything. Um, very simplistic. It says there's 50 interactive characters. So if you're, uh, you know, if you're fucking advertising characters, you don't have much to go for with your game. So you have five quests and then 41 individual game tunes. So hoping this has some fucking bangers on it. So Kingsley's adventure, hard as fuck to say if you try and say it. I haven't until today, so I'm fucking it up. But that uh, concludes the haul at 9.39. We are closing in 61 games to 1,000 games. So the haul alert this week, we got a good clean stack. I almost threw it everywhere. Good clean stack. Clean stack. Um, that one... You know, Disney's Goofy's Disney's Goofy's Adventure. These are all fucking games, dude. They're impossible to say. So I got Disney's Goofy's Funhouse, Kingsley's Adventure. I got more S's than a fucking snake on crack. That's the whole alert. Thank you so much. We're going to crack open a couple fucking controllers here. Wait. Oh, before I disband, speaking of controllers, um, one of them is taken apart. But currently I have um, two of these. So I, I thought that they didn't work. Um, I bought them at a cheap price. I was like $15 for two of these controllers. And these are like the monochrome silver Xbox 360 controllers. That finalizes my um, land box. So I'll probably do like a big demo of the land box next Wednesday whenever I can get everything together. Um, but these two controllers, they were cheap. Um, I thought they came broken, but it just ends up that the uh, battery packs don't work on either of them. So the good news is that I just need to buy new battery packs and they should work fine. Um, but I, I did get two of these. This one is this guy and the other one is taken apart and right here. So um, I'll be cracking these fuckers open, cleaning out the bugs and the gunk and the shit and the dog shit. It should have been skunky, skunky punk, punky skunk. I, <laughs> dude, I'm on the search for that. That is a heavy, heavy item on the list. I am trying to get that one very fucking... That's like one of the top tiers. Um, I did get some games in, too. Uh, that'll be coming next week. I'm very excited about them. I've been high on my list for a while. 
Um, I haven't been high on my list. They've been high on my list for a while. Uh, and Punky Skunk is one of them. It is not yet purchased, so I'm still looking for it. Got to get a good deal. If I if I can find it for like 50 and under, I'm, I'm in. But it's got to be 50 and under. So that's the whole alert. Um, we'll be cracking some of these conchas open, see what the fuck's inside of them, and just chilling out. Um, let's get to a save file here on Tomb Raider, and then we'll we'll fucking we'll relax. So nine thirty nine. That's where we're at, fellas. We're getting there. Fucking can taste a thousand games. I can taste it. Oh, that was a fast transition.